<gasps> Big redfish right in there. Hello, this is Jeff at Battlefish again, and uh, that tailing redfish was one of the few I've ever seen in my lifetime. And um, he was there and he was gone. I don't know where he went. Uh, we searched that whole grass plot, couldn't see him again. Water was pretty clear there, but uh, that was it until much later in the day. So in uh, desperation, we pulled into this creek just south of the Fort George River. And uh, it's pretty deep in the middle. It's a little dicey to get in and out of, but uh, once you're in, it's, uh, it's there's a lot of crab traps in there, so you know it's deep enough to run. And I just started working the shoreline. Redfish right there. The redfish swimming right there. Right there. Okay. He's on it. He's on it. <laughs> That's the first time I sight casted a redfish. Look at that. Man, look at that redfish right there. The redfish swimming right there. Right there. Okay. He's on it! He's on it! <laughs> That's the first time I sight casted a redfish. Look at that! Oh man! He took it right away! Baby! This is a nice size one too. And he was cruising ashore. So uh, accuracy in casting, especially into the wind, yeah, oh, yeah, is yeah. essential, obviously. And I uh, got a lucky so shot good. here and put it right in front of him, and he sucked it in. That's a Saltex 4000 reel with uh, 50 pound spider wire and uh, an ugly stick I picked up used at uh, Resellers Reef. You gotta check those guys out. They got a lot of great stuff, but a lot of great used stuff as well. And um, at just dirt cheap prices. Can't beat it. <laughs> Finally. Finally is right. We uh, put in at Sisters Creek around 7 a.m. And that was around two o'clock. Uh, before we had a fish in the boat. I used a 40 pound big game brown mono leader tied on with NFG knot. And that is my uh, favorite bait, the crazy croaker. Can't beat it. Now we worked that creek a little further and then turned around and came back with the wind and the tide. Uh, my power pole went out earlier in the day. Uh, and I got on phone with power pole and they're sending me a new circuit board which I just got today the next day so kudos to the power pole got one got another one it's kind of funny I use windfinder and it's accurate about 80 percent of the time this was one of the times it was not near accurate they said five to maybe ten mile an hour winds and it was gusting to 20 plus so uh, excuse me for the uh, uh, wind sound.
And when we got back to the ramp, there was an FWC researcher there, and uh, she asked a bunch of questions. I always try to help them out. <laughs> she weighed and measured the fish. They were just, just under 5 pounds, 4.8, I think, and uh, 24 inches. They were almost identical in size. And again, uh, thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I try to post a video every week. It's been a little tough this winter. The fish have not been around. And that's why we took a field trip to Sisters Creek to see if we could find any there. And it was a long day, but uh, paid off in the end. Thanks for watching.